Well, you're right, guys. How's it going? In the greenhouse. Mostly spuds today. In fact, it's all spuds. Yeah, yeah, it's all spuds. Chit in the first and second earlies. I've got trays and trays and trays of spuds all around me now, and I've got some upstairs in the back bedroom. It's, uh, yeah, busy times. You'll have to forgive some of the footage. I'm playing around with the camera settings to get the best lighting and the best exposure. And I think I've cracked it right at the very end. That's with the Mars Hydro light off, because if I put it on, it's a bit bright. <laughs> um, yeah, so I turn it off and um, I do something else. Anyway, like I say, it's all about spuds, but it's not a mashup. These are my international kidney. So I'm seeing these for the first time, same as you are. Let's see what we've got. Do, 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 do. Second early international kidney, blah, blah, blah. Thank you very much. Right, let's see what we got then. Actually, one, two, three, only six tubers, and those well use the smaller egg box. Let's have a look then. I know a lot of people say eyes facing upwards, and yes, it's easiest if the eyes are facing upwards, but it really doesn't matter if they don't. Because in a couple of weeks' time, if you've got it upside down, the spruts will be coming out anyway, and you'll see they're upside down, and you can flip them over. Another very easy way to tell is if you if you can't tell which is the top or bottom. Look for little smiley faces. Here you are. Look for the little smiley face. You've got an eye and you've got a smile underneath. That's the top. So smile upwards. And if it's got a hairy bit on the bottom, that was where the umbilical was. So that's obviously the bottom. Well, that's a nice easy lot to do. Not many potatoes, huh? See, look, hairy bottom goes downwards. And she'll stick the label do, 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 do. in there. And I'm going to write on it as well because me and labels don't get on. So I. K. Okay. And they'll be going on a north facing window, I think. Yeah, north facing, because that's all the room I've got at the moment. Right, let's go and get some more. And this lot are Winston, I believe. Oh, Casablanca, lucky I checked. Casa. Easy to tell which ones these are, <laughs> which way up these go. I've left them a bit long. It don't matter. It don't matter. They'll still grow. A little bit of mould on some of these. I just uh, so I'm going slow. You can go on there too. We got a bit of room. We are. Is Casablanca done? Ah, these are the Winstons. Lovely jubbly. There we are. Mm -hmm. Thinking about it, I might leave some of these in here actually. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, these ones are going in the 15 cell trays that I got from Patch Seed Potatoes over in Ireland. Um, hang on, let me write this a minute. Nicola. £38. For 20 of these, second hand. And the reason it's appropriate is because they use them for chitting their potatoes. So here we go. Like I say, Nicola. Easier if I tipped them out first, wouldn't it? There we go. A load of Nicola's done. Shh. 
Charlotte. Yeah, some of these are quite well advanced. In fact, I'm going to break that one off. Does no harm whatsoever breaking them off. In fact, if you, if they get too advanced, the best thing to do is to break these off and let it start again. And it will start again. Because as you know, things want to grow. Last lot, and that is Marfona. Right, that's all the earlies then. I'm not going to do the main crops. I don't usually do main crops. Well, there we go then, guys. That's like job done for the day. Wow. One of the jobs. Might as well just leave these here for now. Right then, I'll do for now. You're right guys, who got me thinking earlier on about me rubbing the eyes off, uh, off rubbing the chits off potatoes and I, I know it will, some people it will create a bit of um, what the bloody hell is he talking about, he's stupid and that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do, I've got a bag of Vivaldi here. It's one of the, Vivaldi is one of those ones that only certain people, well, one, Albert Bartlett are the only ones that uh, grow them and license to sell them. So they sell, sell them in big bags, look, two kilograms. Second early, grade E, brilliant. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two trays. One tray I'm going to totally rub all the uh, spruts off the chits. And one tray I'm going to leave them. So first thing I'm going to do is, it's right on the air, I'll put Viv rubbed and this one they've not rubbed and then when I come to plant them out plant them up into pots let's we'll just see if there's a difference um you may be thinking I've got a lot of spuds but I should be doing shows again this year so um yeah so I need lots of spuds so rubbed not rubbed rubbed not rubbed <laughs> so here we go then rub them off just the big ones because the little ones are just tear the potato if i just do one in each because i'm not sure how many is in there exactly take it in turn so to speak it's got a line on that one oh that's, that's me with my pen another lousy day today so what is it Three o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. Half past three in the afternoon, just stop raining. If you totally want a, this eye not to grow, this sprut, you need to gouge it out with a knife, totally gouge it out. And I'll be doing that later uh, when we start doing some of the show potatoes. So, what about the smell of new um, seed potatoes? Weird. Oh, look, two left. Oops, I don't want to mix up. Two left. Exactly 24 spuds, isn't that weird? <laughs> Done. Oh yeah, got a little cloth out here now. I use these small ones, biodegradable and all that. Get new cloths every so many months. Right, well, yeah, where are we going to put these then, Steve? Oh, I'm running out of room in here rapidly. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll put these upstairs. These can go upstairs and they'll be in the same, exactly the same environment then. Right then, guys, hope that's, um, that's helped. That's a bit of spuddy stuff this week. I need to get on and um, pot on my chilies pretty soon. Yeah, so next video, we'll put on the chilies and I'll try and do some sort of tour of the greenhouse once I've tidied up a little bit. You won't believe I've just done this greenhouse and it's like it's, like it's 20 years old already. 